Hey everybody, Mike Burks here. Um, today, we're gonna, in Mindset Mastery, we're going to talk about one of the first rules of leadership, which is good listening skills. And I need you to practice it right now, right? Because I'm about to give you some information. And what I'm going to do is ask a question inside of the post to see if you've been listening. And I don't want you to cheat. I don't want you to go back into the post and re-listen again. I want you to answer the question as soon as you hear it. So let's go into some uh, some listening skills things. So um, what I want to do is first uh, ex expound upon this listening for a minute. I want to set the tone. Um, so when I first started getting coaching, right, and, and this is my first time getting coaching, getting mentorship, getting some type of guidance and doing business, um, I wasn't a good listener. I'm just going to I'm not, I'm be real with you. I was not a good listener. So my, my coach, uh, Kendall, he came to me and he was giving me tasks to do, right? I had to, I'm a speaker, so I had to submit some videos to him. I had to submit some content to him. There were some things that I needed to do on my list of guidance towards where I am at right now. And I'm going to tell you, it took me three weeks to send him a 10-minute video, right? Ten, three weeks to send a 10-minute video, and I was supposed to send it in 48 hours of talking to him, not listening. I, he said do the 10-minute video in my mind, do it at your leisure and send it to me as soon as you can. No, he said do it in 48 hours and send it to me as soon as you can. I wasn't listening properly to what he said. One of the reasons why is because a lot of people, a lot of people are listening to respond. You're not listening to the retain the knowledge. And that is an issue throughout the community, right? Throughout human relationships. People are listening to respond. So tonight, tonight we're going to talk about some things. We're going to talk about some things in this video that's going to make you a better listener. Because as a leader, you're going to be talking to some people. You're going to be getting some information. You're going to be trying to coach people and put them in the right place. And the only way you can do that is if you're listening to the little things. If your body language, you got to listen to people's body language. You got to listen to what they're saying. You got to listen for buzzwords. Things that are going to put you in a place where you can give people the value that they need, right? So let's talk about one of the first things. One of the first things that I want you to do is I want you to make eye contact. I want you to make a clear, I want you to make a clear effort to make eye contact with the person because the only way, the only way that they're going to see that you're, they're, you're receptive to what they're saying is that, that you make contact. And the eye contact actually gives your brain a focal point to look at while it's listening to the message. And it's key for that because your brain first wants to get the message visually so that it can retain it audioly. So listen, I want you to make a lot of eye contact. One, because you need to retain the knowledge and get your brain focused. And two, I really think it's just, uh, it's just respectful to the person that you're talking to by giving them your full attention through eye contact. The second one that we're going to talk about, um, the, and one of these things for leadership, leadership, right? We got to, uh, we're talking about leadership. When it comes down to listening, this is going to be key because if you're listening properly, are you asking the right question? Are you asking the right questions? The only way you can get out of, listen, and I told you I was getting coaching for about six months. The conversations between me and my coach were frivolous. They weren't getting anywhere because I wasn't listening to what he was telling me. And I didn't have the right questions to ask him to get past the level that I was on at the moment. So that I was stuck and stagnant for a moment because I could not ask the correct questions because I wasn't listening to retain the knowledge that he was giving me at the moment. And listen, I'm going to tell you, uh, just man to man, woman to woman, uh, professional to professional, if you're not listening, if you're not listening, there's no way that you're going to get to the next level. There's no way that you're going to be able to retain knowledge. So look, I need you to be listening properly so that you can ask the right questions, so that you can get past those mental uh, humps, those limitations that you keep them out going through so that you can get to the next level. Now, three, three, we talked about it before. Listen to retain the knowledge. This is key. This is absolutely key. You need to listen to retain, to consume whatever that person is asking you or does speaking to you about. So, um, 
I remember one time, and this is, look, this is personal. I'm a human. Um, I was arguing with my wife, right? Me and her were going back and forth. And, and I noticed that when we were talking, she was not nodding her head, which is a sign of listening. That's another key for you. Um, she was not giving me eye contact. And as soon as I would finish, she had a rebuttal that had nothing to do with what we were talking about at the moment. And listen, we all do it. I've done it sometimes and I had to check myself because if you're doing that, you're only looking for your opportunity to speak. You're looking for an opportunity to get your point across. You're never really listening so that you can obtain or retain the information so you can respond properly. So look, I need you to, mama, I need you to focus. I need you to give them eye contact. I need you to give them eye contact so that you can ask the correct questions and please listen to the person that you're speaking to so that you're able to respond correctly. All right. I am Mike Burks. And what I want you to do I, below, there's a there's going to be a, a, a link. I want you to download this document so that you can so you can get a clear understanding of where you are when it comes to listening. So I want you to download the document. It's in the link below. Um, and listen, there's only three keys to being a great leader. One, you need to listen, you need to read, and then you need to execute. I am Mike Burks, and we'll talk to you later.